Hello there! This will be a pretty short video and you're probably already aware of what I'm going to tell you today. However, stick with me as we once more take a knife and stab it into our Winmax 2. Today we talk about the keyboard and the keys and that you can easily remove the caps from the keys and swap them around or clean your keyboard. This is useful for multiple situations. For once, if one of your buttons gets stuck or your keyboard feels bad, you can remove the faulty button, look under it and clean it probably. The other application where this is useful is if you do not like the QWERTY keyboard, so you can simply pop out the keys and swap them around as you like. If you live in Germany or any other German-speaking country, and you prefer a Quartz keyboard over a QWERTY keyboard, you can order one from Dragonbox. That keyboard not only has the set and the Y swapped, but all the number keys and the symbol keys are also printed like you expected on a Quartz keyboard. If you ever wanted to buy one of those, but you hesitated because you did not want to disassemble the lower half of your WinMax 2 just to reach the keyboard and swap it, then fear no more, there is an alternative for you. Just pop out the keys and swap them with the German version. It's super easy and pretty much risk-free. Just be aware that the German keyboard is missing one key, as a standard German keyboard has one more key than a US keyboard. If you need those symbols and want to use that German layout, you have to manually map those symbols to any other key combination. Adding that missing key is pretty much impossible, as that would require GPD to remake the housing for the part where the keyboard is located in. If you want a German keyboard, the one from Dragonbox is the best you can get. Quick side note, if you are from Germany or any other European country, there is a better alternative out there than swapping key arounds and making a custom hardware layout. That however deserves its own video and I will not go into further details. Enough talk, let's finally have a look at how to remove and change those keys. If you have just recently cut your fingernails way too short, like I did, then you will not be able to reach below those keys without the help of some tools. Don't worry, you can use a knife to reach below the keys. It won't harm your device if you are a little bit careful. To remove the button start with one of the corners. If just one of the corners gets detached, it's quite simple to remove the rest of the button. To apply the button, Simply place it on top of the hole and gently push from the top. And that's it. If this was useful for you, then like and subscribe and help my channel. As always, see you next time. Bye bye!